This is Brian with ScreenFiles.com and Review. What I'm looking at today is 2020's Greenland, directed by Rick Roman Wall. So first I would like to thank STX Pictures for giving me the opportunity to watch a preview of this movie. And it's a pretty good one, in fact. What I think makes it most interesting is its star, Gerard Butler, because as an actor, he makes some interesting choices. Some pretty good, others not so good. And in fact, I would argue that most of them are not that good. Though I've noticed something. When he has his hands in more pies, his movies tend to be better. I don't quite know why that is, but it seems to be the case. For instance, Den of Thieves was a really good I should say excellent movie starring Gerard Butler. It was also produced by Gerard Butler. Greenland is a really good movie starring Gerard Butler, also produced by Gerard Butler. That hands-on approach seems to help him choose really good projects. And as I said, this is a good one. Greenland revolves around a comet which is threatening to hit the Earth. And the title comes from Greenland being the only place where safety can be found. The U.S. government is taking people from various fields and possessing various expertise to a shelter. Not everyone can go, though. It's just a select few. It's an arc, if you will. And so the whole movie revolves around Gerard Butler's character, his wife, and their child to reach shelter. So it is very much a disaster movie in the vein of the towering inferno, except on a much more massive scale, obviously. What makes this movie work as well as it does is that it's relatively small despite the scope of what's happening. And that's because the director uses Gerard Butler and his family as a focus. We see things through their eyes. We see how conditions are getting desperate how people are reacting most often badly to what's going on around them. And so when it's taken from that perspective, it doesn't feel as massive as the movie actually is. Well, I should say as the scope that the movie is involved in. The cinematography is very tight, which is to say it's not handheld cameras, thank God. Shady cam is an issue. But it's also not locked in as tightly as things tend to be in movies of this nature. The camera is moving quite a bit, and the movie is shot almost in a cinema verite type of style, which is to say the camera oftentimes feels present, but not obtrusively so. You just have people reacting to events. And people is where this movie is most interesting, because as terrible and as deadly as the comet is, if you rent this movie, you'll see it's pretty bad. People are worse. <laughs> in the sense that there are numerous scenes in this movie where people, in desperation and fear, mind you, not out of, well, some of them are doing it out of malice as well, but we are our own worst enemies in this movie, which is oftentimes very much like reality. And so characters are sabotaging other people accidentally and deliberately to survive. Things get very desperate, things get very ugly. And so that human story is what differentiates it so much. Also, Gerard Butler and his family are pretty appealing people. I, mean, I believe Morena Baccarin is his wife. And they're really interesting, really appealing, and very human. There's very little in the way of superhuman heroics of any sort, and that really works. There are a few situations, though, which are very contrived, which is to say you roll your eyes when certain things are happening because it probably wouldn't be the case if we're talking about normal human beings that weren't in a movie. But that tendency towards dramatic license aside, Greenland is taut, it's well done, it's great to look at, and it shows that Gerard Butler can do really good work. I mean, that's probably not in doubt for anyone, I suspect, but he can be serious, he can be thoughtful, he can be aggressive, he can be anything. 
This man is a really good actor, and it's nice to see work that shows that. In any case, what do you think? This is Brian with ScreenFiles.com in review. Do you agree? Disagree? Let me know down below. And as usual, consider a like or a follow. Peace.